OK, folks, we'll take a quick break, Shell. You'll be back later on with uh, Footy Fanatics. And as we go to a break, here's the first in a series of short stories about some of our greatest Indigenous sports people. This segment of the Mangrook Footy Show, proudly supported by Don't Make Smokes, Your Story. Hi, my name is Mark Geller. I'm here at La Perouse. It's a great part of the world to grow up. We used to go down to the, the wharf at La Perouse or the bridge at Bear Island, particularly in the summer with, with the tourists that come and you know, we'd say, hey, you know, throw your coins, your pennies into the water and you know, we'll jump in and we'll get them. Hopefully get enough, we can bind all of our coins, enough to buy a, a bag full of chips, hot chips. And that's what we lived on every summer. Growing up at La Perouse was probably one of the best places in Australia to grow up. Lots of friends, obviously lots of family, almost on the beach. A lot of my skills that I used when I was playing rugby uh, later on all stem from uh, growing up in this great part of the world. Living just off the Aboriginal mission uh, with a lot of my cousins, uh, everything was always competitive. Some would say that it had a, a great impact about the way I played my football and uh, you know, when you're playing in, in big ovals around the world with, with thousands of people, you've got to go back to, to your roots, back to where it all started and that gives you the inspiration then to deliver under pressure. Mark Eller, Liner, Tuella. Mark Mark Eller! Oh, what a great try to Australia! Australia have it, Mark Eller. Gould, overlap for Campisi. Mark Eller! He's done it! A try in every test match! The first time in history! Mum and Dad uh, were instrumental in, in what we achieved in life. Uh, they were just terrific people. Mum obviously spent all of her time making sure that we were fed well, didn't have holes in our shirts, we always went to school. Dad, he, I guess he was the worker. He uh, worked for Borrell. He had to walk through the cemetery in the middle of the night, five or six days a week. And when he wasn't doing that, he was always a net fisherman. Dad was, uh, was always a smoker. It didn't matter what we said or, or did, we couldn't stop him smoking. He passed away in his uh, mid-60s, uh, which is far too young. Yeah, we, we learned a lot from him, um, and I miss him dearly, and uh, yeah, I wish he'd never smoked. So please, don't make smokes your story. This segment of the Mangrook Footy Show, proudly supported by Don't Make Smokes Your Story.